wait, I'm actually recording something before I decide to crash. And I don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm going to do it anyway. So today I'm going to be in the, uh, well, you already saw the title. Yeah, Jack Specific, uh, Godzilla figures. Now, um, I have bought most of them. So, so, uh, I will be talking about the, uh, Ghidorah in, uh, the Godzilla Ghidorah 2 pack <laughs> battle. That's like create your own battle scene. So, I was actually gonna plan on unboxing these things live, but for some reason, my phone, well, it's mostly YouTube side to uh, be like, you needed like a software or something like that. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm just gonna open them because I was really excited to get these. I went to Walmart. I had $60 in hand that I made. I'm like, ooh, what? I wonder if they have Jack Specific. And I got most of the figures. The only one I'm, the only few I'm missing is the uh, 20, no, the 12 inch tall Godzilla and the uh, big, like the big boy Godzilla. But we, and I'm thinking we're going to skip that one. Maybe, just maybe. Looks good. Could be good. But it's $60. I'd rather pay $60 for the Monster Arts than the Jack Specific. Uh, and it's, sure it's bigger than, sure I paid, I also paid $60 for the NECA giant one, but we are, as in the past, but we are talking about the new ones. I am glad to make a review around the hype of King of the Monsters. So excited to see it. Uh, I went to saw Shazam with my best friend, and there was a uh, King of the Monsters uh, preview. I was like crying at the end of it. It was great. Anyways, let's talk about uh, the figure we'll start off with, uh, of course, uh, the star of the show, Godzilla. Godzilla has pretty good uh, details and a little bit of paint, except the eyes are not really that good. But it is like a, this costs like one, not the whole thing, 10 bucks, and it's a very good, very good figure for 10 bucks. Well, not th this figure. This will maybe cost like $4. Four dollars and this will also cost like four dollars, maybe that will two. I don't know. But this is a very, very good figure for a I'm like trying to get Ghidorah to stand up so he doesn't fall off. Very, very good figure for a yeah ten dollar set. It's very good in my opinion. We do have a great detail, especially on his chest. It's very good, very nice. Dorsal fins, I really like it. I like this design way better than 2014 design, even though the 2014 design is one of my favorites. But I do really like this design. I like how the little, it's not like the sharp tip, it's the little nub like the show error. So let's get to articulation. First, we got a swivel at the head. I think it's been uh, Godzilla's head around. You do have swivels in the arms, so you can make him like he's going to charge at Ghidorah or Rodan Mothra. Uh, you do have swivels in the legs, so you can make him, like, s stomp around and stuff and, like that. And you do have, actually, I was surprised since I was watching a lot of reviews, just, yeah, the reviews of, that's, like, you do have swivels in the tail. That's pretty, that's pretty neat. Uh, this is a very solid figure. I do really like this. Uh, this is my, these are one of my first Jack specific Godzilla figures, and now this goes Ghidorah. Ghidorah's like, I want, uh, I want it to be my turn. You will, but, uh, I'll, I'll talk to Card Blast. So the card, so, not the card, Ghidorah. Woo! Uh, pretty good, man. Very solid figure. You do have nine points of articulation. Uh, for, for Godzilla, you have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, seven points. This is for nine. So the painting, uh, there's barely besides the eyes, you know, a few washes, but that is okay. Cause you, cause if you're getting this for like, so if you're a collector and you really want to have like, and you have like a younger brother, a uh, son, daughter, a younger sister, or a nephew, niece, or a cousin who is really into kaijus and really into Godzilla. This is the, these figures will be great because you they can just smash them around and you don't have to worry about, the only thing you worry about is maybe something fall, falling off and that's pretty easy just to put back on because it's mostly a rubber plastic. So we do have a, uh, just, just a little bit of a uh, paint in the eyes, if I can just zoom in like that, just a little bit and that is it. Uh, 
but for the in the because and of course the black wash just like all over the figure it's pretty good now for the articulation again we do have um swivels at the necks of her not Rodan uh Ghidorah uh you do have swivels there so that's pretty neat for King Ghidorah it's weird because they're at different points instead of at the same point it's very weird but I do like it uh you, you can ha like if you want like if you if you're very creative you can like make stuff like that you have like his middle head like kind of like that with the but the big Ghidorah and uh but this could wear his wings, it just it just makes it fall over. So I have to I don't really like it how it's like like that on my shelf, but I'm okay with it. Uh this of course the wings so you can have it flapping or I don't know, do whatever you want. And you do have uh, articulation defeat. I mean the uh, size. Swivels, of course, that's it. And we do have articulation and tail, which is a good thing if you really like articulation and tail. Alright. Enough about Ghidorah. About the card that comes with this figure um it's a it's a strange thing at first but it's kind of cool because if you really like to have like battle sequences or something like that this is a really good very good it's just a piece of cardboard just printed on nothing too bad it, every single battle sets come with these it's a very very good card and you can have like this way if you like if you're a collector or a beginner collector, these you can have, and you want to display, but you don't want to like have spend a uh, hundred bucks on like a uh, let's just say uh, some Godzilla stuff from the SH One sorts, or spend well, I'm pretty sure it's a good deal to get Ultraman 50th anniversary. I should start watching Ultraman, and I will, and I will. My first Ultraman figure will be the SH Figure Arts. Uh, Ultraman 50th anniversary sets, and you don't want to spend like a lot of money just getting buildings. You can just get this little, you get these little cards, and you can just place your monsters, and you'll have them like play fighting. And when you're, if you're a kid, if you're getting this for like a niece, nephew, brother, sister, or anyone, because I, because us guys, Godzilla fans and Kaiju fans are not all boys, okay? Okay. I, and you can like have them play fight in front of like this destroyed city and you and when you get into this for youngster you can see them like pretending like Godzilla's winning and Ghidorah's losing and it's not Ghidorah, Ghidra, well it's not, well you know what I'm saying, it's not, they're pronounced, it's Ghidorah, not Ghidorah, Gagula, Google Translate, okay or, well if you're Japan you can say Ghidra, then you're good but it is Ghidorah in America Anyways, these figures are very good for younger kaiju fans, or if you really like these figures, even if you're an adult collector or a kid or a teenager collector like I am, these are definitely good figures. Or if you would rather wait for the NECA ones that are coming out this month, because it is April, these figures will be pretty good if you really want a, a King of Door figure, but you don't want to spend 200 bucks like I did. Thanks, Big Bad Toy Store. You really you know how to waste my money on the SH Monster Arts uh, King of Dog for 10 bucks, and you don't want to spend like 260 for, or 70 for Godzilla and King of Dog. Like 10 bucks, and you get a little card. This is actually a pretty good deal. This is actually pretty good, and uh, this is definitely not in scale with the big Ghidorah. The big Ghidorah really is in scale, in my opinion, with this little Godzilla. But I also, I when I mean I didn't, I bought most of the Godzilla figures, I mean I didn't buy the 12-inch one. I think I said that, but I totally forgot. Anyways, that's my review of these guys. These guys are really good figures, and I am going to see you guys this and this for, for now on until I get all the Jack Specific toy reviews done. It's just going to be Jack Specific. So get ready for a Jack Specific marathon. Alright, see you all in the next video. Bye.